So, Shane Bauer's article, My Four Months as a Private, Private Prison Guard, detailed a lot of the things about the criminal justice system here in America that we kind of already know, but it spins it on its head because it comes from, instead of originally a lot of the um, media that we see on prisons, what they a lot of them are and what a lot of them detail is that when these people they detail the people inside the prison right but not necessarily the prison guards they might get their perspective but the inmates perspective is what we really are interested in as the audience what is odd what this article flips that on its head because we now see the perspective of a private prison guard and we also still get the perspectives of some of the inmates but this is more so about Shane's perspective from the guards that he see around them and the, all the different little moments that happens to, that make guards the people that they are in order to do this job. I feel that one of the bigger things that happened with this article is the fact that when you notice in the beginning, a lot of people that are in those systems as COs and correction officers, they don't necessarily want to do that job. A lot of them are doing it because they kind of have to because they just kind of are they're in the need of money and they're in the financial restraints and that's kind of what they have to do. And another thing that the author did that was really particular in this certain piece was the fact that when you look at the articles, the way that he categorizes everything and transitions between different topics. It's almost like he uses a quote to kind of transition between different topics. And sometimes it's an actual quote and sometimes it's like a paraphrase of what somebody else said. But instead of instead of just using it in the context of the article as a quote or as a paraphrase, he takes the time to detail the points to almost use it as kind of like another nut graph or another lead each time he transitions between different topics. And I thought that was really interesting because that's kind of what you would do on something like a research paper or more of an academic writing style where you first lay out what your um what your general summary over the topic is your introduction then you start off with your first paragraph that details a specific point of your topic and then so on and so on and so forth and he did this same method that you might use in academic writing he utilized this whole method throughout the whole entire article and i just when you really look at it in the context of all these things the way he was able to be that detailed and that precise with his experiences with not only giving not only making it a point to get the experiences of himself when he first comes into the um um facility but also making sure that he gives us the perspective in chapter five of the person he's becoming as well so even the story in itself is one bit transition. It doesn't bounce around a lot. It goes more so, it might go more for a bat story instead of staying in the foreground sometimes. But for the most part, you kind of know where the story is going. And there's these little moments of clarity that kind of gets you like, oh, I understand it now. And, now. and Shane does a really good job with that. But that's all I have for now. Thank you so much for watching this video and have a great day.